shit, yeah, that's the way we do it. What's up boys and girls, you Ottawa Scotty here. It's Christmas day, I've got COVID. Uh, and uh, we're gonna go on a, a prolonged camping trip, winter camping trip. See you soon. What's going on guys, you Ottawa Scotty here. We're uh, gonna do some camping, it's Christmas day. I have COVID, so we're gonna do some, uh, a real pr prolonged camping trip here. We're gonna do some solo camping. Taking you guys along for the ride. We're gonna start tonight by making a fire. It's about uh, dusk, spending Christmas alone. No family this year. Nothing. I'm gonna get the motorhome all warmed up here and we're gonna hunker down.
Well, folks, Merry Christmas. It's a weird one. There you go. Cheers, cheers, folks. You out of a Scotty Christmas. Some of these tea lights going. This motorhome has all kinds of uh, places to put tea lights, like like here. I wonder if this is safe or not. Well, these have obviously obviously been used before. Have to try and dig those out. Nice motorhome. My dinner here. It's pretty cold in here. Full time motorhome living. Very difficult in Canada. Definitely not cheaper than renting an apartment in Canada. These things aren't efficient. Heat just goes right through them and it's very very hard to heat heat a motorhome up in uh, minus 20. can be done but uh, you waste a lot of energy. Just running the furnace non-stop. It gets pretty expensive. Same goes for tiny houses. Not efficient. I have some of these sweet Doritos. I think what I'll do is I'm going to read some manuals tonight. Manuals from my other motorhome. Still a lot of... Uh, Still a, little, a lot of fine tuning needs to be done there with my uh, other motorhome. Before it can be considered reliable, I would say. Before I would consider driving it any serious distance, it would definitely Two or three things that need to be addressed for sure. So we're going to do 
that. Gonna get ready for bed. Good morning guys. I have no idea what time it is now. I know I was uh, up through the night uh, reading and uh, listening to CDs. I don't really know what times I was up or, or, or what. I don't have a phone with me or a watch or anything like that. But I feel pretty good. I'll just kind of show you my setup here. This is the back bedroom. I'm just trying to keep the heater in here because it, it's uh, motorhomes are not efficient or travel trailers of any kind are not efficient at keeping heat in I've, I've learned that the hard way i have actually uh stayed an entire winter in my other motorhome and that was uh very expensive it was really not efficient and, and very expensive so i uh, I know what it's like so I'm not I'll never really do that again but so I'm just trying to keep this back bedroom um, warm so I've just got my uh, a little space heater down here that's what you hear it's plugged in up up top here and I'm, I'm out of propane but even if I did have propane I wouldn't use the uh, the furnace just because uh, it, it you know you'll go through propane the, run the furnace all night to keep the motorhome uh, uh, warm furnace will be running all night I mean it's winter in Canada it's cold you know our motorhome living is easy in more temperate climates but uh, in, in winter it's it, it, it it's hard it's hard to do this so anyways I just got the curtains drawn and the blinds down just to keep the heat in somewhat just kind of helps a little bit I think even though not not very much but it, anything helps to keep the heat in and um, then I've got this sort of door here drawn this is uh, I gotta be really careful with this door because I really love this this door it's kind of like a bamboo kind of or looks like a ma this folding door is made out of like a mahogany veneer uh, but it's really nice so I'm just being very careful with opening and closing it it's in perfect condition so it should be all right but this opens up I mean, I guess the other thing I could do if I wanted a little bit more space is just open the door to the bathroom, kind of make a barrier like that. I think that's what's supposed to happen here anyways. Is that kind of closes that off. You get like a master bedroom kind of deal with the your own bathroom and stuff. But, um, it, Anyways, I'll show you the bathroom. This is a nice motorhome. It's been uh, remodeled. All, all the uh, the wallpaper. Well, this is actually wallpaper. Someone has covered the entire RV with uh, wallpaper. Just kind of spruce it up a bit. And actually, that's the proper way to 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 remodel an RV. And you can see somebody put this wooden trim all around too. It's it's really well done. Uh, of course, it's it's coming it's coming apart now. But I'm gonna go and uh, restick a lot of this stuff. And you know they put these sort of tea light things around as well, which I really like. 
I really like that stuff. It was well done. You, you, I've seen a lot of people remodeling RVs and they, they paint. They'll paint, they'll take like latex house paint and paint the surfaces. You, you can't do that. Cause I mean like everything in an RV is, uh, uh, well it's not drywall for, for, for one. And it's kind of a, like for instance, the cabinets in an RV, well these are, these are wood. But a lot of this stuff is kind of, um, I don't know what you would call it, but it's sort of plasticky, like, uh, yeah, I don't know what you call it, but, um, like latex paint looks horrible on it. Like this stuff here, this kind of wood paneling here, uh, it's not wood. It's like a, uh. I don't know, but when it, you, latex paint doesn't cover it very well. So painting an RV always makes it look really bad. Um, so I like to keep things original, but the person who, who did the remodeling in here uh, did a really good job. And you can't even really tell that it's been remodeled. It sort of looks like the motorhome always looked like this. Anyways, it needs to be fixed up, and I'm gonna actually re re glue a lot of the wallpaper because because I like it. You know, it's kind of uh, coming apart. Just kind of there's seams like this that, like here, you can see. I just would kind of go and re re stick that and fix that up right here too and here. It's not, uh, it's the motorhome's not leaking, uh, it's just the wallpaper kind of peeling off. Uh, with the exception of the front, uh, this motorhome's pretty, pretty leak free. The front is a different story, uh, I've got a lot of work to do up there. But anyways, this is my living quarters. That's not too bad. Can't complain. So, uh, so yeah, obviously we're not having showers and stuff in the winter. I haven't really got this, this motor from working yet. I haven't had time to work on it too much. So, but stay tuned to my channel cause this summer we're, uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, I think I'm going to be living here for quite a while. So, we'll kind of work on the shed there and, and uh, fix that up as well. Try to make it a little bit more comfortable around here. I think I'm going to turn the shed into sort of like a shop area. Anyways, let's, uh, let's uh, get outside here. Also, a lot of these lights don't work, really work all that well. I should... These motorhome lights are, are really bad. They they never really oh there we go. They never really work very well. Got two meals last night and a whole bag of Doritos. Up here is the problem area. Leaking all. leaking right now. Really gotta do something about that. Up here is, you have to really do a lot of work up here. This coming summer, we had uh, some pretty bad damage up here. I might have to work on the floor a little bit too, unfortunately. There, I had a. Uh, unfortunately, this this motorhome wasn't in, in really good shape when I bought it. Uh, I think last summer, or the summer before. 
Um, but I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake with this thing. I, the roof on it was solid when I bought it. And, um, yeah, I, I really put my faith in it a little too much and I, I drove it up here and left it at my camp. And, uh, you know, I just, I didn't clear the snow off the roof and it crushed the roof around the air conditioner here in the springtime when it started melting and all hell broke loose. I came here one day and it was literally just like, looked like a waterfall of water just splashing all over the floor. It was awful. So there's a lot of damage up here and I just really haven't gotten around to fixing all this up here yet, but I am going to fix it. I'm going to uh, fix it nice. Just, uh, life is kind of crazy right now. So I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to do that, but, uh, I'll definitely, definitely get around to it. Here's the, the, the sky, the skylight is, or the vent here is pretty dirty. So the fridge also doesn't work. So I have to figure that out. It's a nice fridge. That's why I've brought my book here, Principles of Refrigeration. And reading that for the last couple months some good stuff in there so carbon monoxide alarm should probably put that up nice and dry
old snowblower gas. second now. guys I'm gonna head home I uh, spent one night here and uh, it's pretty late in the afternoon just had a fire afternoon fire but uh, it's time for me to go home and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video Maybe, hopefully we'll get more camping videos happening in the future we'll see you soon Three.